Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I've got a really fun video that I have seen kicking around here on YouTube and that is the Instagram makeup challenge where basically on one half of your face, so it'd be this side, you do a look kind of an everyday normal makeup look, kind of how you would wear your makeup on a day-to-day basis and then the other side you do the Instagram makeup which is kind of just very dramatic very emphasized um, you know really bold eye makeup and very contoured like crazy highlighting but I think both sides are awesome like if you want to go out wearing this kind of makeup every day you do you but I think it's kind of fun to see the difference so I hope you enjoyed this video let's get started for more natural daytime makeup, I like to use something really light. Uh, this is something that I reach for a lot. This is the L'Oreal Cushion Foundation. I like this foundation because it's just really nice and light. I feel like it just looks very natural. What you can actually do is if it's starting to get like dry on one side is you can just flip this sponge around because a lot of the foundation, or if you're completely done with the sponge, a lot, just take the sponge out and use what's left on the bottom of the casing because there's actually still like quite a lot of product in here. These cushion foundations are kind of notorious for not really having a lot of product inside so when you actually think about how much product you're getting it's actually quite an expensive foundation. And on this side of my face the Instagram side I'm going to be using a foundation that's a little bit more full coverage. This is the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. Love this for events and stuff like that because I find it very long lasting and it just gives a really nice flawless coverage. The only thing I don't like is there's no pump. You can buy like a pump additionally. It should come with a pump. Like it's just the stupidest old fashioned mechanism. I'm gonna apply that. You can see like the coverage is just way stronger than the other one, but it's also buildable. One that is really worth it. Like it really does a good job of kind of covering up. It doesn't look cakey, but it definitely looks like there's more product on here, but it blends really nice and smoothly. I think so now for concealer for the sort of day-to-day -day look. I just tend to use something a little bit less expensive. This is the Maybelline Fit Me. Dab some of that under my eye. It gives like a decent coverage and it's very inexpensive. Concealer is one of the key, um, like under eye concealer is one of the key products that I do use on a daily basis. So sometimes I do use more expensive concealers. Obviously day-to-day, -day, I don't just always go for drugstore stuff. And to set that, I tend to use just a really light translucent powder and I use it very sparingly. I'm using the Makeup Forever. This this is the HD powder, but I don't like use a lot, just a little bit just to set the concealer and maybe just to set a little bit the foundation like around my nose and sort of on my cheek and maybe just a little bit up here because that's where I tend to get oily. Now for the more dramatic Instagram side, I'm going to use a more full coverage concealer. Um, this is actually one by MAC. This is the Pro Longwear. I have filled it into a little container because the container broke. It very well covering concealer and what I like to do is just do kind of like a triangle and sometimes I also bring it on my nose because I have freckles on my nose and I feel like the concealer uh, covers that up a bit better and then I'm gonna grab the beauty blender and then blend that out and then maybe just grab a little bit more of that and use that on my chin area using that to cover up a bit more a little bit around the nose for Instagram makeup, it's really all about the setting and the baking and all that kind of jazz, which I honestly don't really do a whole lot, but I will do it for the sake of this video. I'm gonna be using this one. This is the RCMA No Color Powder. Grab the sponge, get quite a liberal amount of this, and then pack that on right under my eye, and then kind of like work it outwards like this. You wanna do this before you put on your nice outfit because it can kind of get it everywhere. So back to the natural side, I don't tend to really do a lot of contouring and stuff like that on a daily basis. I mean, if I'm feeling like extra, I will do a little bit of bronzer. Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer by Too Faced. This is a really good one for light skin tones. I think it's really good that these companies are kind of coming out with bronzers that are a little bit lighter because for us pale gals, 
a lot of bronzers are just like too strong. So I just take a brush and just kind of do a little bit of bronzer, warms up my face. But like I said, if I'm not really in the mood or I don't have time or whatever, then I will just skip bronzer. Sometimes I like to put a little bit down my neck. With most people, it's the same, tends to be a bit lighter. So it's good to kind of bronze that area up. Highlighter, I will use something a little bit more natural on a day-to-day -day basis. This is one by Rodial, kind of one that is very forgiving. You can't really go wrong with this. On the tops of my cheekbones, like it gives a little bit of a glow, but it's not in your face, glowing to the high heavens. I do use blush you know, almost every time. Sometimes I'll just do blush. This is one that I absolutely love. Unfortunately, this is discontinued or it was limited edition, so you can't get it, but this is just a gorgeous blush by Kiko Milano. There we go. Just a little bit. It's just such a nice blush and it has sort of a slight um, sheen to it, so it doesn't look matte. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do my eye makeup first because while this is baking, I like to do my eye makeup and then I'll do the rest of the makeup at the end, the face makeup, because so some of the steps are a little bit different. For my natural looking eye, I don't really have a goat. Well, I do kind of have a go-to eye look, but it's not like I always use the exact same products. For example, like sometimes I'll just do a nude kind of beige, vanilla kind of color, a drugstore shadow. It's called Vanilla Tea Fair by Catrice. Just any kind of light colored shadow. I'm just gonna apply that with like a big brush to the top area. Today I'm gonna be using another shadow by Catrice, Princess Matlin, number 070. I've been really liking that sort of really light, uh, light look on the eye. I've also really been liking the Peach Palette by Too Faced for day to day. Sort of the lighter side is great for daytime appropriate looks. So I like to grab this palette. Uh, this is the V's Art Neutral Matte and I like to use like a transition shade, maybe something like this and just go into the crease a little bit. On a day-to-day -day basis, I don't really do a lot for underneath my eye. So for the more Instagram glam side, I'm actually gonna go ahead and use the same palette because I wanna show you how you can just use like the same palette and do completely different looks with it. And this one is just so versatile. So first I'm gonna go in with the lighter colors here and use these for underneath my brow. This is gonna be easier to blend out darker shadows. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this peach shade first in the crease. This is using the same brush that I used before. You're gonna do like a smoky eye. This brown shade right here into the crease. And because I already have this like peach color down, it is super easy to blend. Gonna pick up a little bit of the orangey color in there, Just punching it up a bit with that warm orangey shade. Now these shades are all matte, you can definitely do shimmers and mattes. I'm gonna do like an all matte look. I feel like matte is just super trendy right now. Gonna go in with a dark matte brown shade. This one, I'm gonna put that sort of on my eyelid. Pack that on the lid. And I'm gonna pick up like a mid-tone brown from that palette and then just go into the crease just so that the transition is a little bit more smooth. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and remove the powder that I've used underneath my eye. So I'm just gonna use a brush and kind of sweep it away. So underneath this eye, I'm going to really sort of smoke out that color. So I'm gonna go back in with a shade from the palette, uh, smoke out the lower lash line as well. And then I'm gonna go back in with that sort of orangey shade and what I also like to do sometimes is just grab like a precise brush and then grab um, the lighter shade and then just kind of clean up the edge. So you want to use like either a concealer or a pigmented eyeshadow. Clean up the edge down below the eye. I just like to use a shadow for this. You can kind of see how that cleaned up the edge. So for my natural sort of everyday side, sometimes I don't even really wear eyeliner, but sometimes I will actually use just an eyeshadow uh, from this palette actually. So I'm gonna go with like a medium brown and just uh, layer that really close to the lash line. Works like a really soft, sort of smoked out liner. So on this side, I just wanna add a little bit of sparkle. I'm gonna be using the Urban Decay uh, Moon Dust Palette. And what I like to do is just use my fingers for this. I'm gonna grab a little bit of lithium, just dab some of that right in the middle of my lid because I don't want this everywhere, just like a pop of sparkle. So for liner, I'm gonna be using the matte liner. This is the matte liquid liner by NYX Cosmetics. I think I might need a new one. 
This one's getting a little bit dried out. You guys know that on Instagram, it's all about the crazy black, sharp, angled, winged liner. So that's what I have done. So for the uh, mascara on this side, I'm gonna be using the L'Oreal Voluminous. And on this side, I'm gonna be using the Better Than Sex Mascara by Too Faced. This is just a very dramatic mascara. Now I'm gonna be using lashes on this side, but this is like a good black, very dramatic mascara. So the next major difference are the eyebrows. I'm gonna use an eyebrow pencil. This is the Brow Wiz by Anastasia. I spend a little bit more time on my brows just because my brows are so thin. Now I tend to actually, for brow powder, use the same palette that I used on my eyes because there's actually lots of shadows in here that you can use. Now I'd love to be the kind of person who just like uses a brow powder, like, or who just uses like brow gel and everything is perfect, but I do have to fill in my brow more because they are so sparse. So just to make sure that they stay in place all day, I do use a brow gel on them. This is a clear one by Anastasia. Now to do a more defined brow that's kind of popular on Instagram, I like to use the dip brow pomades. I sometimes use these even in my day-to-day -day life. It's not like you can't use these on a day-to-day -day basis because I actually do like to use these on a day-to-day -day basis as well. I'm gonna use this color first. This is soft brown. Okay, and then I go in with a slightly dark shade. This is called ash brown. I just go and define the bottom. Now, the typical like Instagram thing is that they fade out here. And honestly, like, like <laughs> I do not know how to do this really because I just never do it. I think it's just you use less product. I just always think it looks so weird. <laughs> and then just kind of fade it out some more. So what a lot of people do with the Instagram brow is they do the brows before they do their eye makeup. I don't like to do that because I tend to get like eyeshadow in the brow, so I always do the brow last. They put like concealer before to really sculpt the brow. So what I can offer you as an advice if you do your brows after is to go back in with a light shade and just go in with a really precise brush and then just apply it just straight underneath the brow. And this will give you a very, very similar effect. You can do the same on the outer edge too if you want. See, this is why like, who really does this makeup in daily life? It just takes so long having this much time, like for a special occasion maybe, but ain't nobody got time for that. At least I don't. So of course, to get Instaglam, you need some spectacular lashes. I'm gonna be using these ones here. These are by Violet Voss. So you could even do under lashes or something. That would be really cool. I love how this looks, to be honest. Like, yes, I love it. There's a time and place for everything or for special occasions. So obviously you can't be Instaglam without the contouring and the highlighting. Contour and highlight palette from NYX. I think I'm gonna go in with this shade here, Kat Von D Shade and Light brush. You want to always start from the very outer side here and kind of contour the outer part of my face. And I'm doing this very exaggerated, you guys, because when you're taking pictures for Instagram or just pictures in general, it tends to like wash out your makeup a little bit. So it tends to look very unnatural in real life. It can look really cool on pictures. I'm not gonna do nose contouring, you guys, because I hate the way my nose looks when it's contoured. I'm just gonna do my cheeks. I'm gonna blend out the contour a little bit using a fluffier brush. This is also contouring. It's kind of like an angled brush. It's by Hakuhodo. Start like behind your ear and then bring it forward. Kind of defines your jawline. And you can also, if you have double chin, I'm working on that double chin, you guys. <laughs> I think it's already like reduced. I think I had like a really worse double chin a few months ago. Go in and blend. Once the contour is how I like it, um, I go in with a light uh, matte. It's kind of a satin powder, this one. You don't want to use a shimmery powder for what you're gonna, for what I'm gonna about you show you, because otherwise you're gonna have shimmer everywhere. Go underneath that. You can, you can bake as well if you want, but I just use a lighter powder. Put some on the chin. So you see it kind of cleaned up that contour. And then you can go in with bronzer. What? So, so many products. So I'm gonna go back in with the same bronzer. Now I'm not gonna add a ton because otherwise I'm just gonna start looking really weird. You can do some down your neck. So for the highlight, I'm gonna go in with this palette by NYX and this is the Strobe of Genius palette. This shade here, which is like the lightest shade. Apply that on my cheekbone. On Instagram, it's kind of this crazy highlight. And what I also like to do actually is just go 
here. You can actually sometimes use your finger to add a little bit of highlight there. Now, the other thing that a lot of people do is they grab some of the highlighter and put it on the cupid's bow. So I'm just gonna put it on this side, apply it there. So lastly comes blush, and I'm actually gonna go ahead and use the exact same blush. So I'm gonna use it mostly from the sort of lightly, slightly more darker side here. And now the blush is gonna go here, almost like just below the cheekbone, kind of. For lipstick, um, on this side, I'm gonna do the normal everyday side. I'm actually gonna use a lipstick by Maybelline, Peach Buff 982. I'm gonna to top it with a little bit of the Sweet Peach in Peach Teas. And now for the Insta Glam side, I'm gonna be using, of course, a liquid lipstick. And this is called Trust Issues by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I feel often on Instagram, they do like bold eyes and bold lips. What I've also done on this side is just slightly overlined my lips. Lip injections are a huge thing. Now I don't have lip injections. I just decided to kind of mimic that look by slightly overlining, you can see. Okay, I forgot one final step, sort of finishing spray, setting spray, whatever. I'm going to use the MAC Prep and Prime. This is the Fix Plus. It takes away some of the powderiness because I have obviously worked with a lot of powder now here. So now we're at the end. Let's look again at the transformation. So this is the natural side. You can see it like that. This is kind of how I would wear my makeup on a day-to-day. -day. So the Insta Glam makeup side. There we go. Look at that glow. Look at that highlight. Look at the freaking contour. Both have their place, you know. I think it's totally fine to get glammed up, but I think it's also totally fine to just go out natural um, and minimal makeup and then the super glam. I am gonna go to a photo shoot kind of look. Please remember to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I've linked two other videos right now for you to go and check out. Thanks so much for watching everyone. Bye.